this is what we're doing today our old Textron easy go TXT golf cart I think it's like a 97 or 98 I'm not even sure um, it's very it's an old golf you know actual golf course golf cart even has like numbers on the side of it still we put headlights in it new tires on it uh, windshield put this in the back which works good and stereo and some other lights and various other things in there and we use the heck out of this and it has El Cheapo I think they're Royal King batteries and uh, I think I paid $79 for each one of these and the date on these was let's see if we can see the date uh, it's hard to tell where they're marked but I, I believe they're about almost three years old and they've just about had it not necessarily you know part of it's my fault for not checking the water as often as I should but I, uh, you know it's a, one of the pain in the butt things about the lead acid batteries is checking the water not that it's difficult or anything but you know when you're busy you got a million other things to do and sometimes you forget and we use the heck out of this thing just a very basic golf cart but we use it so much we like it and we drive all over the neighborhood on our days off a lot of times we will go for a golf cart ride every day and uh you know check out the neighborhood check out areas there's parks we can go to that are local but you need to have a range of about 10 miles and of course when the batteries were new we, we had excellent range we used to take it to starkey park and different other places and it was fantastic but now it's about three years later and they're done um they the, you know the water's disappearing quickly um and i have to keep on top of the watering and the the range is much reduced and the the voltage like after it's charged the start the starting voltage is you know quickly dissipates so instead of getting another set of batteries for about five hundred dollars i decided to step up and we got some dakota lithium batteries and they're not cheap and i think it's going to be very much worth it though so you only need three batteries um i believe they're three 12 volt batteries instead of you know uh six six volt batteries over there uh, but the, the capacity in these, it says 100 amp hour, but you get to use all 100 amp hours, or at least the majority of the 100 amp hours on the lithium batteries. The, uh, the ones in the lead acids, I think they're like 100 amp hours each, but you can't use them all. Uh, and they diminish over time for sure. So you sh shave off, uh, I don't know, 200 pounds at least. Uh, and these are guaranteed for 11 years, 11 years. So those I get two to three years out of, um, partly because I buy the cheap ones, number one, partly because I probably don't stay on top of them perfectly. Um, but I still don't think you would get much more than three years out of them at the rate we use them. Um, so if you do the math, these are worth it. An 11 year warranty. So that's not their useful life necessarily. We'll find out. <laughs> It's going to be hard to do an 11 year follow up video on these, but uh, um, I will report back if there's any early failures for sure. But, uh, you know, if you can get 11, if you can get the full 11 years out of them, you've done well. So here's what came. It was an order for a set of 36 volt golf cart batteries. Uh, in each box came one battery and some stuffing material, but in the first box came. Uh, some other stuff some owner's kit the battery charger which this is the standard one that comes with it uh which is only eight amps uh they, they make like a 20 or 30 amp uh charger and it will charge the batteries very quickly especially as compared to the lead acid ones um i don't necessarily need that so we just are going to use the eight amp charger and I'm expecting it to charge probably still faster than what those older batteries were taking a charge um, you know half a day a day 
eight hours, something like that, depending on how much they're discharged, of course. Um, but I, I would bet that this combination is uh, going to be at least as good or better than the original combination. But we'll see. I don't really know that for sure. Um, but we'll see. And that little battery charger, I'm going to mount it on board. You know, I'm, I'm losing 200 to 250 pounds, so I think I'm going to mount that on board. So that way you can uh, just plug an extension cord into the uh, to the cart instead of using this big, giant, heavy thing. I mean, I've seen some people put these on their cart, but I mean that thing weighs 50 pounds, 40 pounds. So I won't need that anymore. I can sell that. And then... Uh, So let's open up one of these. One handed. Here's how they come. Let's see if I can open this thing up. Get one to come out. So they're pretty well packaged. They were double boxed at least. And they are just, they're about as heavy as a medium sized car battery. So there's two of them, one more in there. And uh, so that's all I need is three of them. So I'm going to go over here, start by pulling all this massive batteries and lead and acid out. So. All right, we're going to weigh these things. Got the batteries out, and we are going to weigh some batteries. So, got it all zeroed out. This is my scale I've had for many years. Let's just see what the actual weights are. I hear numbers. So, 57.7. Let me weigh another one just to see the consistency. This one feels heavier. Jeez. Yep, it's actually a pound lighter. So I'll just say an average after weighing two of 57. Okay, let's see what a Dakota weighs. All right, let's see. Thirty-one point four. So these three batteries will be under a hundred pounds. So, now that I got these fancy batteries, I should probably fix up the cart a little bit. I mean, it's a little dingy and dirty. As I said, it's an old actual golf course cart. With I just added some lights. Some rear lights and stereo and a few other things. So, it is charging now. So, I'm getting 40.6. And that's probably reading the charger. Um, the batteries, when I first looked them up, they were at 39 and change. So now I've got the little battery charger hooked up. And we're getting 40.4, so I guess that's the charge voltage with it hooked up. Um, that's my converter for the stereo. And that's for external lights, the red one little Bluetooth stereo and the front uh, front lights and whatnot so on the batteries I put some wood down then I put actually it's like two by sixes or two by eights and then I put uh, some foam down like yoga mat foam and then I put those that front piece of wood there let's see right there down into that wood to keep them from sliding forward and back um, and then this big cam buckle this big military cam buckle I just cut it screwed it into the wood which was now fastened to the frame and uh, just buckled it all down so it shouldn't shouldn't go anywhere but this we, we don't go like super off-roading in this thing so just for cruising around the neighborhood in different places um, I, I gotta redo several things in this because uh, it's just not up to par. 
uh, for long-term use. I want to close this thing and not look at it again for at least 11 years. That's the plan. All right, just unplug the batteries from being charged. Initial voltage is 42. Okay, yeah. So we just took a 20.2 mile trip. Our cart reaches a top speed of 19 miles an hour, which is about what it did before, because it's got a speed plug, and of course it's electric. All right, push the button. Okay, so we've gone 20.2. The resting voltage at a stop is now 39.1, which is higher than it used to be, even on full charge on the other ones. So, uh, and then I'm gonna get on at full speed, and you can see what the voltage drop is. going topped out after it accelerates we're topped out speed so it's dropping to 37.2 under full throttle with a load on it after 20.3 miles so that's where we're at and that's with the lights on the whole way how long was our trip been? Look at the deer. That's cool. So what's our hourly on that trip? Two, two, hours. two hours and 34 minutes, is that what it is? Two hours and 14 minutes. Okay. 20.4 miles. Still holding 37 point, thir around 37 at wide open throttle with the speed plug. And the cart definitely behaves better. There's not as much body roll on it. It doesn't rattle as much. Uh, feels more nimble. Can take corners a lot better. Uh, so, so far so good. Okay, we're done. We have gone 21 miles even. 219, or 219, two hours and 19 minutes on the trip. Uh, time moving I, I just noticed we had that so time moving is two hours and three minutes um, average speed 10 miles an hour max speed 19 that's pretty cool uh, this is a Garmin in reach pretty cool I used really have it for the boat but you can track any um, trip uh, so and then the resting voltage is 39.2 um, now I don't know how how much more we have because I don't really have a, a proper monitor on this thing so here's the batteries mildly just slightly slightly warm each one actually my battery cables are doing fine not even warm so uh, and the cart overall definitely um, was easier to drive, didn't bounce around as much, uh, much less body roll. Um, and this is all stock stuff. There's nothing upgraded about this thing except for, of course, the batteries. Uh, and overall, and, and it accelerated much better. I mean noticeably better obviously it would if you take 300 pounds off of it but uh so overall looking forward to getting at least 11 years of use out of these batteries obviously i can't do an 11 year uh review but day one review is pretty good i'm very happy with it and the fact that i won't have to do any darn watering on this thing that was a real pain in the ass for me but uh anyways all right Garage light went out. Time to go. Bye.